Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Today, <laughs> I'm excited. Can you tell? Smile on my face, laughter, all of that sort of good stuff. I just love it. <laughs> Today, I am joining forces again with TMI Gifts and the wonderful ladies that work there. I'm going to send a special shout out to all of you at TMI Gifts. Thank you so much for gifting me these products today. And what am I doing today? A Candyland Marshmallow Swag Wreath. I loved putting this all together. This is gotta be the biggest, fullest swag wreath, actually wreath in total that I've ever done. I just love how it turned out and I hope you do as well. Don't forget, TMI Gifts, www.tmigifts.com and if you use that promo code right there, you get 20% off, yes, 20% off your purchase. I will link everything right down below for you in the description box if you're interested. Why don't I just get started and I'll show you how I made this. All these items here came from TMI Gifts. This is a 30 inch teardrop. I'm gonna be using this as my base. You can see there's the hook right at the top to hang it for us. This huge, mm, yummy good marshmallow ornament. We are gonna use that as our focal point. This 20 inch deco mesh in blue and white along with this two and a half inch wired ribbon and one and a half inch wired ribbon as well these beautiful funny faced little marshmallow and candy swags along with some candy cane swags and of course these are all gifted to me by the wonderful people at tmi gifts and what i've added for today are some christmas ornaments here these are just small little ones some red and white butcher twine. I have this one and a half inch wired ribbon from my own stash that I had from last year. I'm gonna use this as well today. And these two packages of two styrofoam balls. I ended up actually using three packages, so six in total. And then of course, my usual crafting utensils to create this project today. I'm starting off with my little teardrop here and I'm just flattening it down so I can lay everything down nice and flat. That little marshmallow is actually quite huge so I wanted it to lay flat and I also wanted to attach it using this ribbon. I just love this ribbon, the colors of it. So I just cut off a piece that wraps around with some excess on the back so I can tie it to our little teardrop greenery there. And all I'm going to do is add some hot glue on that one side, place the ribbon right in that hot glue, and then I'm going to add more hot glue on the other side to get a nice and secured. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit, and then once it's all dry, I'm going to attach it right onto that teardrop. Of course, the red just brings out that cherry fluffy part right at the top doesn't it so I'm just positioning where I want it to go and then I'm just going to feed those ribbons right to the back you'll see I'm kind of flipping it over here and I'm going to wrap those ribbons right around the base it's a nice solid base so that ribbon and that marshmallow isn't going to go anywhere and I'm using quite a lot of force to get it all nice and tight cutting off the excess and what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of hot glue right on all those seams so that knot doesn't come undone and I know it's going to be nice and secure there. I'm just going to wait for that to dry, flip it over and here we go. It's nice and attached, our big focal point. Today I am cutting my deco mesh at 15 inch lengths. So I'm just going to take that deco mesh roll along with a couple of my decorative rocks, lay it down at the zero and then I'm going to come across and I'm gonna cut again at that 15 inch mark. And I'm also gonna cut at the 30 inch mark. So I'm gonna get two cuts out of one little roll there. One little scoop, two little cuts, two pieces of deco mesh. And how I'm gonna attach it today is the curl and loop method or curl and poof method. There's a couple of different names for it. All you have to do is you just have to do the curl side up, roll it into a nice little tube shape or a huge cannoli if you want, like I always say on my channel. And then I'm gonna come two stripes in 
and I'm going to squish it so it creates a curl at one end. And then I'm going to come back to my teardrop greenery spray here, and I'm going to take two of the pieces of twigs or extensions or whatever you want to call them, and then I'm just going to use those like I normally wrap with pipe cleaners and wipe up wrap it right around and then at the other's end i'm going to come in the two blue stripes squish it there and then i'm going to add that in between another couple of my little branches if you will and that's going to create two loops and one little poof that's right in the center there you can see it and again we're just doing the same method we're just going to have it the deco mesh curl side up Start my little tube there, just roll it up. You can do it as tight as you want, as loose as you want. It's totally up to you, it's your personal preference. I kind of do it a little bit tight, but not too tight. And then again, we're squishing in that one end, leaving a little loop at the or a little curl, and then we're attaching it using a couple of those little twigs there. And these are wire twigs, so you can bend them and move them any way you want. And then one more time creating that little loop at the end, grabbing a couple of the little twigs there, placing that right in between, and then giving it a couple of good twists, making sure it's nice and secure. And I'm gonna do this over and over again, filling up all around that large marshmallow. And here I am finishing off right at the bottom, using that same procedure, filling up that wreath with all this beautiful blue and white deco mesh. So again, this is 20 inch deco mesh. I ended up using almost the full roll. You can have it as full as you want, or you can do less, you could do more. It is totally up to you. I like it nice and full. That's why I have it nice and full. And with those styrofoam balls and the red and white butcher ribbon, or not ribbon, sorry, rope, I'm actually gonna create little peppermint balls, if you will. So all I'm doing is I'm creating a little pattern with my hot glue gun, wrapping it around in a twirl, and just wrapping that twine, not the twine, sorry, the red and white butcher rope right in that hot glue. And I'm just gonna go all the way around, covering the entire styrofoam ball with my little, let's call it a peppermint twine. <laughs> And once that's all done and dry, I'm just going to cut off the excess there. And we've created our little candy peppermint ball all by ourselves. And I'm going to do a total of six of these. Now it's time to create our big bow. I'm going to lay the two and a half inch wired ribbon down first. Mark the 12 inch point. That's going to be a tail. And then I'm going to create seven inch loops, which would be a 14 inch length. I'm going to bring that together with our 12 inch mark, pinch it right there in the middle where our fingers are so we've created our first seven inch loop. So we have a seven inch loop and a 12 inch tail and I'm gonna continue creating our seven inch loops until I have four of them. So again, I'm measuring out the 14 inches, bringing it right back to the center and I'm always gonna make sure that finished side is on the outside. So you can see me going back and forth, measuring out that 14 inches, creating those beautiful seven inch loops. Once I have four in total, I'm gonna to do my final 12 inches. That'll be our Lex tail. And there you go. We have our four loops and two tails, but this is just the beginning of the bow. We are going to wrap it with a long piece of pipe cleaner. I haven't cut this one down at all. This is a full length. And we have the start of our beautiful big bow ready for our swag. The next step is I'm going to cut the one and a half inch. And I'm going to start with 11 inch tail. So we're doing a smaller tail. And this time our loops are going to be a little bit less than 14. They're going to be six inches, which is 12 inch in total. So it's a six, in, six inch loop, but the length is 12 inches. And I'm going to do this three times. So I'm going to create three loops and two tails using this method. So again, we're coming out at 12 inches. I am pinching the fabric, bringing it right to the center, and then we create our loops. And then lastly, 
we're going to create our last little tail and that's going to be at the 11 inch mark and again this is a half piece of pipe cleaner i just cut in half and i'm going to twist that right in the center and this is our three loop which we're going to place right on top of our four loop ribbon we just created our four loop bow i should say and we're just going to twist it right at the back there attaching it nice and securely and of course we're going to do one more ribbon for this why not do three ribbons right three different ribbons three different patterns adds a lot of interest adds a lot of color and my final ribbon is the one and a half inch candy stripe ribbon and our tail is going to be six inches and our loops are going to be five inches long and we'll measure at the 10 inch mark so again we're doing a six inch tail 10 inch loop bringing it right back to the center after we pinch it making sure those good ends are showing through and then our last little tail we are going to cut that at the six inch mark as well and that is our last little loop bow that we're going to put together for our large big bow for this huge swag we're going to create today and this goes right on top this is the three bow bow if you will <laughs> a nice large bow and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fluff it up just a little bit here i'm not going to do too much don't worry you know me i love my fluffing <laughs> i can't stop fluffing but the center i wanted to do a little bit something more so i'm going to take those little ornaments with the gems on them add some hot glue on them and then i'm just going to place three of them right in the center just i mean this bow is beautiful enough on its own i just wanted to add a little bit more so here we are with our three different ribbon bow it's big it's bold it's beautiful and i'm going to create three of these bows in total for our swag then while I have my ribbon out, I am going to cut each of my ribbons, so the different ribbons, into 14 inch lengths. So I'm cutting five for each ribbon that I have at the 14 inch mark. So I had my first ribbon, my second ribbon, and now my third ribbon. I'm going to cut five of each. And at each end, I'm going to add a little dovetail just to finish it off cutting at an angle, creating that beautiful dovetail and that beautiful finished look on all three of my different ribbons. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna put them off to the side and we'll attach them once we get everything else organized and ready for attachments. These little marshmallow swags came with little faces. When I was doing my dry run, I mean, when I first got them, I was like, these are so cute. And then I was doing my dry run that I always do when I place everything down on my wreath. Something was bothering me and I figured out that it was the smiles, the little faces on the marshmallows. So I decided to take those off. They came off nice and easily. And as well, I cut off the candy canes from the long metal stems. And now I'm just going to bring back my full swag that we've got, and it's time for me to add those bows on there. We've got our long pieces of pipe cleaner, and all I'm gonna do is, once I figured out where I want it, I'm gonna feed that pipe cleaner right through the back, and you'll see in a couple of seconds how I attach it right onto that base greenery that we have. So we're just feeding the pipe cleaners right to the back. Once they're there, I find a couple of stems and just attach that to those stems, wrapping that pipe cleaner right around it. Making sure it's nice and secure and that it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to cut off that excess and then I'm going to bend that little greenery wire right over it and around the center so it's nice and secured and it's not going to go anywhere. And I have my first bow all attached. Look how beautiful that bow came out. Oh, I'm just loving how this is turning out. And I noticed that I actually didn't cut or I didn't do dovetails on the bows. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to attach my second bow just the exact same way I attached that first bow. I'm going to feed that pipe cleaner through where I want to place the bow, flip it over, find a couple of stems, and just wrap that pipe cleaner right around those stems. 
and just twisting and cutting off that excess and then I fold that greenery back into itself. And I have my three bows all attached now and I'm trying my hardest not to fluff them all. <laughs> And now after I've created all of these beautiful peppermint balls, I'm going to attach them just using some hot glue from my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to press them in there and hold them in place for a little bit until they are dry. And I'm going to add six balls in total of those pipe cleaners. Now we're going to come back to the ribbon we cut earlier and I'm going to create our little ribbon bundles. I'm just laying them down, placing them halfway over the previous one, finding the center, squishing that all together with my fingers, and then I'm going to bend them just so they overlap each other a little bit on how I want them to lay on the swag. So this time I'm taking long pipe cleaners, twisting them around right at the center, and then attaching them right onto that swag using the same method we did for those bows and everything else, just feeding it right through the back finding those stems and twisting it around in place. And now you can fluff up your ribbons a little bit. I did a total of five of these bundles and I added them all around in miscellaneous places using the same method, just laying them on top of each other, finding my center, squishing it, and then attaching it. Now it comes time for me to add those beautiful candy canes I'm just using hot glue to attach them and these are so soft. I have to tell you that they are just so extremely soft. It was so much fun to place them in there. And again, I'm just using some hot glue right at the ends, placing them where I want. And then I'm going to add some more of those little balls that I added to our bows. Now, one thing I did when I was doing my dry run is I noticed these were a little bit too large for my liking. You can keep them if you want. I decided to take them apart, but I kept some of them together. And you can see here, I'm just attaching those right into that marshmallow. It's a big styrofoam marshmallow with a whole bunch of glitter. And those little picks fit right in there. They're a little bit small. And of course I had extra little stuff that I took off. So I'm just actually going to use that stuff a little bit later once I finish adding all of those picks on there. And of course, here's some of that marshmallow fluffy stuff. I don't know what you call it, a little marshmallow spray. <laughs> and our little candy cane felt little rolls. These were so cute. Again, these are so soft. These just came from the pick that I took apart. And of course, these are some pom-poms that were attached to the pick that I, put, uh, I took apart. And I'm just placing everything just miscellaneous stuff everywhere here and there just filling in that swag just having fun with it that's the most important thing have a good time with it <laughs> and of course here we are with our final result like i said to you this is the biggest wreath fullest wreath that i have ever done i haven't done anything this large before or this full and i was so happy to do it today i was in my glory and i have to thank tmi gifts for sending me these products today because i had such a great time creating this door swag our marshmallow candy cane land wreath swag don't forget to use that code Dave20 if you're visiting TMI Gifts to take 20% off your purchase. Here it is and it's all its glory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.